Hello everyone, and for today's video, I have a full sword slash blade moveset. This moveset theme was suggested by Thunder Combo, and this is a moveset theme that's came up a lot lately, so I just decided to do it, because it does look... <laughs> Okay, on paper, it looks fun, but we'll get into why it's not the best moveset to use in a little bit. Leave your moveset theme suggestions in the comments, and the best and most interesting ones will be used for future videos. So Thunder Combo says to use the Salsa Blade, Burning Slash, Shining Slash, Rakasha Claw, which from now on, I'm just going to refer to as the R Claw, Spirit Sword as my first ultimate, and for my second ultimate, he says I can use anything, and I'll get into what I did pick in a moment. And for my transformation, he says to use Future Super Saiyan and Spinning Blade as my evasive. So going into the moveset, I decided to use Dimension Ray as my second ultimate. I decided to pick this because I haven't really used it before, and it just kind of fits in with the theme of this moveset. Now, he says to pick Future Super Saiyan, so of course I pick that. And I can only assume he said to pick Future Super Saiyan because, you know, it's like Future Trunks and Trunks is known to be a swordsman. Spinning Blade, in my opinion, is kind of like one of the forgotten attacks, much like Counter Burst. And I can see why Spinning Blade is a forgotten evasive, because it's terrible. It's more flashy than anything, and you don't really escape danger in certain situations. Instant Rise, in my opinion, is 10 times better than Spinning Blade will ever be, and I really would recommend staying away from this evasive, because again, it's just terrible. Spirit Sword, as one of my ultimates, should speak for itself, it's a sword attack, so I mean, it, you know, it speaks for itself. I'm only just thinking about this, but why Spirit Sword is a strike ultimate rather than a key ultimate where you're literally using a blade of key to stab your opponent, I will never know. The Arc Claw is, it's an interesting attack. It doesn't do that much damage in my opinion compared to how long it takes to fire. And much like the Salsa Blade, and to an extent, the fully charged version of Burning Slash, it's just flashy and it's just for show. I mean, honestly, the only good attack I think I have here in terms of just overall balance and utility is Shining Slash. Like I said at the start of the video, on paper, this looks like a very fun and interesting moveset, but it's just a huge gimmick. You've got no defensive attacks like After Image, Instant Transmission, or anything like that. And you've got no beam attacks, which you don't necessarily need a beam attack, but just adding one beam attack will typically give you more options in tighter situations. So as we go into the first fight, I decided to pick the Ruined Cell Games Arena, and my opponent picked Super Saiyan 4, Goku. So right off the bat, we go into a clash. I'm unsure what he's going to do here, so after the clash, I step vanish, and because of the nature of this moveset, I decided to use Future Super Saiyan early, so I maintain that key recovery and get a slight damage increase. Now then, I I deliberately didn't vanish because I just wanted to see if he'll try and back hit me and he didn't so as we progress in the fight that's going to be a very key thing to remember he went for a very quick times 10 Kamehameha there so I step out of the way and try and hit him with the arc claw and surprisingly it did hit him so we both dash up to each other and go into another clash and he's just hitting the air there probably expecting me to dash into him, but instead I dash away. They get him in a small combo, then I break his guard, and from this point I can just do any attack I want. So I hit him with a Dimension Ray. So now I'm thinking, his stamina is about to regenerate, what should I do on him? I just decided to use the basic light combo, because using stamina to continue a combo there wouldn't really be the best idea, because I didn't really need to, and I wanted to conserve key for if I may need it later on to do a more devastating attack, such as Spirit Sword. So now he went for the Super Common MR, and I was just a tad bit late to break his guard with the Harmon Dash. And the second time he vanished there, I will consider a Panic Vanish. He just saw right there why Spinning Blade as an invasive is terrible, because it didn't move me anywhere, and I just stood there and <laughs> span around. After this clash, I was pretty confident that he was going to rush into me, so I just used the Spirit Sword, I captured him in there, and that's going to be game. Going into the next fight, my opponent pick Super Saiyan God Goku, so now we're upgrading. I had a feeling he would vanish there, and he did, but just after I went for the counter, and we got a nice perfect block off there, so now I'm just sidestepping to see what he's going to do. He vanishes again, and I predicted, and break his guard, then I get him in the very disrespectful burning slash, I then continue by dashing up to him, and he continues the combo chain, which I thought was really nice, get him in a very short light combo, and finish it off with the salsa blade. And talking of disrespect, I get him in the basic rush body there, right to his face. So he gets me in a combo and I vanish to see if he was going to try and predict it and he then vanished and went for the aura burst so he just wasted three bars of stamina and I've noticed that this guy will vanish after every few hits so again that's something that's going to be very important as we continue the fight. And now he sends me flying and tries to hit me with a Kamehameha and it's just miles off 
I'll turn into the future Super Saiyan. I don't think he's going to predict me vanishing there, so I do vanish. Then I break his guard after a small combo, then get him in the Spoot Sword, and that's going to do a lot of damage. And he's almost going to get the Zenkai boost now, so I should keep that in the back of my mind just in case. And now he gets very desperate and tries to hit me with the Super Spirit Bomb. I mean, fair play to him. If that did somehow hit and I didn't have enough stamina to get out of it, then that would have done a lot of damage. With that being said, if the Super Spirit Bomb did actually hit me, like, I still would have been screwed because my evasive is terrible. So now we glitch out and go into a small clash. As we exit the clash, I know he's going to vanish whenever I hit him like once or twice, possibly three times. So I might as well just wait until he tries to pursue me, which he did. Now as we conclude this fight, he's going to go for one final desperation super comment on are. But I've got more than enough time to go for the Harmon dash. I do it, I break his guard, then I finish him off with the Salsa Blade. I've said this before, if I'm fighting someone and it appears that they don't know what they're doing, then hopefully I can show you guys how I'm countering it, so you don't end up making the same mistakes as they do. As we go into the next fight, I pick the Namek map, and the guy picks Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, which you don't really see that much. He gets a perfect block right off the bat, which was very nice. Then he goes for the double Gallic Cannon, so now I'm at an immediate disadvantage. I dash up to him, get him in a combo, and then he vanishes and perfect blocks my predicted blow, which was very nice and you just saw he did it again which again that was very nice so I now need to be careful when I'm going to vanish because this is obviously an advanced player and he can probably read his opponent very well so again I just need to be careful and make sure I don't have anything that's predictable I hit him with the shining slash then he vanishes after only two hits which I thought was very weird in this situation and then I accidentally went for the stamina break and right there that perfect block that he does it's so nice it's very good so there I was just blocking and I've still got a very bad habit from Xenoverse 1 where if you unblock and then immediately block again you can sometimes get a perfect block off in certain combos you can still do it in Xenoverse 2 but the timing is very strict now now here I get them in a bit of a combo then I finish it off with burning slash and there was some part of me that was expecting him to use his evasive there but it was a very smart move that he didn't and from here it's going to be a very bad time for me I must have misclicked by vanishing there because it was kind of pointless doing it at that point he then unleashes a furious melee combo on me, sends me flying down into the water, then finishes me off by using Final Shine attack. I think this is the only time I've ever been defeated by someone using Final Shine because it's a very it's not very effective to use, especially in Xenoverse 2, because in Xenoverse 1 you could just turn Super Saiyan and you'd have infinite key to use, of course up to a certain point, and of course it's got a pretty slow startup time. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching so far, there is one more fight left in this video, and to an extent I would consider this final fight a sort of blooper because it was a very close, a very fun and a very intense fight, but the guy has to ruin it at the very end, and you'll see what I mean. So thank you guys for watching so far, and I'll see you next time.